Welcome back to High Farm Dad Channel. As you know, Explore is an open source platform for making Juniper native apps for Android, iOS, and the web with JavaScript and React. And to run or test an Explore app, you need to install an Explore client on your phone or even a simulator for iOS or an emulator for Android. With Android apps, normally you have to install Android Studio. An editor consumes more than 4 GB of RAM. If you have a PC or laptop with low RAM and processor, this video is for you. I will show you how to install Android emulators without installing Android Studio Code. But before starting this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of my video uploads. This video is just step by step for installing Android SDK Software Development Kit, assuming the user is starting from scratch. There are just a couple of prerequisites to note. Number one, you must have Java Runtime Environment or JDK installed. If not, you can get them at the Oracle website and download the correct version. 32 or 64 bit for your computer. If you're not sure whether Java is installed on your computer, you can follow these instructions. Select Search, type Control Panel, and then uninstall a program. Here you can see the list of installed software on your computer. The list is displayed in alphabetical order. Check if Java name is listed in the install software list. You might have either JRE Java Runtime Environment, which is required to run a Java application on the computer, or JDK as shown below. Number two, a good internet connection needed for downloading system images. In this video, I recommend using the Apply SDK installer for installing the essential tools, namely SDK and AVD Manager. The last version of the installer is found in the description of this video, so you can download and install them for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. For this video, I'm using Windows 10. Here is the walkthrough. Depend on your choice, download the appropriate SDK package. After downloading the package, begin installation and choose the desired installation folder to proceed or just leave the default. Click Next to continue. When done, leave the option to download system images check. Now we're in business. The Edit K Manager window will appear. Now you need to update or download other Edit K packages. The updates new options will show all the packages available. You don't need to download all of them because they need a lot of space on your computer. The install option lets you know all the packages you have installed before. For me, these are all the packages I need to get all the packages like me following these steps. I recommend downloading S86 images as they are much faster than ARM counterparts. Also get Intel HASM driver to significantly increase your emulator speed.
Or said now you just need to create and configure an Android virtual device matching your target Android version and take desired setting. To do this, click on the Tools tab and select Manage AVDs. Then in the following window, click Create. You will see a similar screen like this. First, we need to set a name for our Android virtual device. Pick a name you want to set in this input. For me, a new AVD. Then my name, Harry Farm Dev. At the device select, choose your target device. Use scroll to have more options. I will pick the Galaxy Note, a phone I really like. The target option, choose Android version 6 and Intel Atom 86, which we installed before. If your computer has more RAM, increase the option to 2048. It will help to push speed for your virtual device. Finally, hit the OK button to create your virtual device. The process will take a while. When it's done, you will see a pop-up like this. Close this pop-up. Now, your new device will show up in this manager. Select your device and click on the Start button. Select Launch to start running your device. At this point, it's really important to see if there are any error to running the virtual device. If there is a problem, it will be shown in the screen. And if you're stuck in this step, keep watching this video. I will have you in the later part of this video. If you succeed to run your device, a black screen will appear. It will take a while for the virtual device to setting up. Now we succeed to run the first virtual device. During these instructions, there are several errors you may encounter. You must solve them to make an emulator running. One of them is this error. HASM driver is not installed on this machine, although you had installed it in the first place. To solve this problem, we need to run Intel 36 emulator accelerator on the local machine. Mm -hmm. 